annually we go out and survey uh, the wood rat habitat on private and public property. So right now we're out here in O'Bannon Woods surveying for the wood rat. We've set out live traps for these guys and we set the traps in these cracks that you see along this cliff face. We block them in with lots of rocks so if a raccoon does come along they can't access the rat or pull the trap down. This one's tagged. Ah, perfect. And so what we're doing is we're doing a mark recapture study. So if we get a new rat that had previously been uncaptured, we will put ear tags, uh, which have unique numbers on each of the tags, just in case they lose one of them in the course of running around through this habitat. And then the next year when we come back, we're able to recapture these individuals, see if they're previously tagged or not, and we can get a density estimate of how many rats are actually in the environment. I think she's a new recapture. Along with the tagging of the ears, we also take a tissue sample from their ear. And with this tissue sample, we're getting a DNA profile of each of these rats, and we're actually able to track the lineage of rats. And this is important because we know we have populations of rats at multiple sites that are spaced uh, across these cliff lines. We know which individuals are uh, dispersing to spread genetic material to increase genetic diversity between populations. And so it's kind of like following a family tree, which we're able to do for these wood rats with these DNA profiles. Aside from predation and loss of genetic diversity because it's such a small population, the largest threat to Allegheny wood rats here in Indiana is habitat loss. And on private property that can happen when uh, forests are cut down and it reduces the ability for the wood rats to forage on these cliff lines. And you also have natural habitat loss. So right here we're in the middle of a landslide that has taken out a good section of this cliff line. Uh, it's filled in a lot of holes that these wood rats would have used for habitat with mud and debris, and it may take years for this habitat to open up again for wood rats to start using. The coolest thing about a wood rat is their ability to climb these sheer cliff faces. Uh, they are able to hop great distances. They have uh, very complex foot pads, so unlike a dog's foot where they have your toe pads and your metacarpal pad, or, or the palm as we'd call it, these guys have multiple pads on their thumb along the side of their heel here. And so as they're climbing, they have so many points of contact, they can climb a sheer cliff face in a matter of seconds to get away from predators. So whenever we're handling these rats, they quickly run away from us up a crack and uh, can evade predation pretty easily.